hi friends welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make liquid soap for personal and commercial purposes but before we dive into the production let's go over the 50 precautions you must take when producing liquid soap keep all chemicals away from the reach of children never make preparations near naked flame or fire do not taste any soap chemical avoid direct contact of soap chemicals with the skin or eyes now let's go over the list of chemicals and quantity needed for 20 to 25 liters of liquid soap soda ash in 500 grams soda ash has coarse crystals and it's in dirty white color the next chemical is sodium tripolyphosphate also known as stpp this should be in 250 grams this chemical looks exactly like table salt. Nitrosol. Nitrosol in 250 grams. This chemical looks exactly like powdered milk. Now the next one is Texapon or SLS. SLS is sodium lauryl sulfate. SLS looks exactly like rice, white rice, while Texapon looks like pap or do i say starch so people tend to use to both chemicals together in same production i think this is a total waste of money because both chemicals are similar and they have same effect in your liquid soap so if you are using sls for production ensure to soak it before adding it to your liquid soap now we are going to use perfume in 30 mils then the next chemical is caustic soda Caustic soda in 100 grams. This chemical looks exactly like sugar. The next one is foaming booster in 200 mils. I think I've seen foaming booster in three colors so far, in orange, white, and this color. So whatever color you get is totally fine. Just tell them to name it for you before leaving the chemical shop now the next chemical is sulfonic acid sulfonic acid in 700 mils this chemical has dark thick look just like honey the next one is color i have color pink right here i do not know i have other colors as well this is brown color and this is pink color so i don't know what the color i'm going to use yet so let's just start the production so now before you start the production make sure to always put on your gloves and also use your nose mask because all the chemicals that will be used in this for the production of this soap are industrial chemicals okay so now i'm going to add 10 liters of water into a big bowl remember we are producing 20 to 25 liters of liquid soap so my base is 10 liters so in that 10 liters of water i'm going to add my nitrosol so it is better for you to get someone to stir for you while you had your chemicals so now you are going to stir thoroughly Now, in this smaller bowl, I have two black bowls now. In this smaller bowl, I'm just going to go ahead and I added two liters of water in the smaller bowl. So now I'm going to go ahead and dissolve my caustic soda separately. So you dissolve your caustic soda separately and then you give it a good stir. Ensure every crystal in that water dissolves perfectly okay now i'm going to add the caustic soda into the bigger um bowl so now we have nitrosol and we have caustic soda in this big bowl
now you see that the combination of nitroso and caustic soda has started thickening up so just take a look at that so you just want to make sure you stir one chemical thoroughly before moving on to the next one now this is another two liters of water i'm going to add soda ash i'm going to dissolve soda ash give it a good stir until every every crystal dissolves then um, i'll add it to the bigger bowl do ensure to follow the steps i am mixing these chemicals in water if you miss the se steps you will not get a good quality soap so for example you go with you dissolve your nitroso first then caustic soda and then you continue just the way i did in the video okay give your chemicals a very good stir before adding to the big bowl that is just the key to avoid lumps if you do not stir it very well if you do not dissolve the crystals very well before adding it to the bigger bowl to the base it's going to cause disaster your soap will start forming lumps and you know you do not want that okay now i'm adding the soda ash to the base so now we have three chemicals in this big bowl we have nitrosol caustic soda and soda ash now on to the next one for the purpose of this video this video i'm going to be using texapon as i've said earlier do not use texapon and slf together in the same production okay so now i'm going to add texapon to the base to the big bowl straight away so because texapon is in a liquid form you do not have to mix it in another water before adding you know to the big bowl so you can just add any liquid content any liquid chemical into your big bowl straight while you have you mix your um solid chemicals in a different bowl with two liters of water then add it to the bigger bowl i don't know if this makes sense so now the next one is sodium tripolyphosphate also known as stpp dissolve it in a separate bowl two liters of water then you add it to the base just give it a good stir until the crystals dissolve and you add it to your big bowl always ensure to stir each chemical into the base thoroughly before moving on to the next one okay so now i'm going to move on to the next one which is sulfonic acid sulfonic acid is the chemical that looks exactly like honey this chemical allows your liquid soap to thicken up so you just have to stir thoroughly so you don't want a part of your liquid soap to be thick you don't and the other side to be watery you want this chemical in every nook and cranny of this liquid soap So now you stir, you stir, you stir the, the chemicals thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly. You take your time after adding sulfonic acid, you take your time to stir thoroughly, okay? Because you want everywhere to thicken up. So we have dissolved about four chemicals in 
separate two liters of water so far which is eight liters so eight plus the ten, initial 10 liters that is 18 liters so now we are going to add foaming booster because foaming booster is also in, the, also in a liquid form we are going to add it straight to the liquid soap this foaming booster also you want to also stir into this liquid soap thoroughly and also we are going to add the next one which is fragrance or perfume so you add your perfume and stir into the um, solution thoroughly so as i was saying we have used a total of eight liters to mix um to mix chemicals separately so we our initial uh, base was 10 liters that is 18 liters in total now i'm going to dissolve my color in one liter of water so that is 19 liters of water so far so you really do not need a lot of color depending on how you want how thick you want your color to be or how rich you want your color to be okay so i just added a little bit of color into the one liter of water and i mixed thoroughly before adding to the big bowl so now we have um after adding this one liter of you know color to the liquid soap we have a total of 19 liters so now you can now I start adding water depending on how thick you want your liquid soap to be. So as for me, I would want to produce about 22 to 25 liters of liquid soap. So you had water as you want depending on how you know thick or how watery you want your liquid soap to be. Okay. So then after adding the color, you just mix thoroughly you mix thoroughly you don't want one side to have color the other to not have color you just want your color to be even you know you stay until it goes from this then to this so you can see that the color has been mixed thoroughly now i'm going to leave overnight for the foaming part to settle okay don't forget to add water as you want. I added water off camera. And then this is what it looks like the next day. You can see the foaming part has settled and I can see my liquid soap clearly. Then I can start dishing my liquid soap into whatever container I want to use for, you know, to keep it up for packaging. So I'm going to show you several few containers you can use to package your product for commercial purpose so now i have this transparent 500 mils container right here you can use this cover for it for easy dispensation i also have five liters of this is five liters whatever container you want to use just ensure the container container is transparent do not hide the beauty of your liquid soap whatever color you use in your liquid soap just ensure you use a container that will showcase your product so now this is five liters this has inner cover this is 10 liters as well this has inner cover so you can use 10 liters you can use five liters you can use one liter just ensure your containers are transparent okay So now that is the inner cover of both kegs to avoid spillage you know you don't want your liquid soap to start spilling all over so you use inner cover and then you use the bigger cover as well so now i'm going to start dishing this liquid soap this is what it looks like the color is so so beautiful the camera is not even doing justice And then that's it. So this is what it looks like in the transparent container. It looks beautiful. 
you can also pick a separate whatever color of cover you want just any color that goes well with your the color of your liquid soap and this is the final result this is what our liquid soap looks like you can use any color you want any color you like okay so thank you so much for watching guys if you have found this video helpful do not forget to subscribe like and share this video video to your loved ones okay and also do not forget to check the channel we have many amazing videos you can watch and learn 18 or two, two from okay and um this is what the five liters looks like this is beautiful that's it for this video guys see you in my next one bye